Today I want to show you six simple ways to spice up a boring melody uh, on the MPC1, MPC Live, MPC X, all in standalone. Let's do it. What's up, this is Marcello. If you're interested in MPC tutorials just like this one, consider subscribing. Also check out the description for more helpful MPC content, uh, including a free step-by-step -step masterclass on how to mix on the MPC in standalone. All right, I would say let's dive in. All right, we got an empty project. Let's set the BPM to 90 and let's choose a plugin instrument, electric. And let's just start by recording a simple melody. For that, let's go to notes. Now let's go to chords and let's choose harmonic minor. Let's go down one octave. Let's take this, it's simple. Let's play some notes over this um, progression. Okay, this melody is played in very robotic and static, but we'll still be able to um, turn this one into a more organic experience or more natural experience. So let's start by um, putting some effects on the program. So track mix. Let's start with a very experimental pro uh, experimental effect, which I really like. It's um, in the harmonic section, it's called the granulator, it's pretty new, it's a new one, so let's just see. Let's automate this one. So let's uh, activate automation, shift automation. Or if you don't have the MPC one, go to main and activate automation over here. So if it turns red, so it will write automation. Let's go back to the plugin, to the granulator. And let's just automate the mix. Let's press the start. Deactivate automation. It's a very subtle effect, but I like it. All right, next let's put some maybe ensemble, air ensemble. Next, let's maybe talk box. Okay. Let's go. Let's put one more, maybe some kind of reverb. I like that. I 
let's and let's automate the reverb a little bit. So the first step is use effects. Second one is automate them. So let's automate the size of the room. Turn on automation. Okay, next step is to resample or to bounce the sequence into a sample. So let's bounce it to a sample sequence. Let's go to the pencil. Here, bounce to a sample. Now it will export the sequence. And now let's uh, make a new sequence. Sequence 2. And let's create a drum program. Go to Browse, Sample Assign, and here is the Bounce Sequence. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, now let's go uh, to Sampler, uh, to Sample Edit. Here we got the sequence, let's chop it up. Manual, and let's do it. Okay, now we got the slices and let's convert them to a new drum program using. So now it will be here. It's called bounce sequence one. And now we got the slices on one. Next, let's try to change the pitch of those slices. Let's go to program edit. We are on the master um, tune and let's just try to tune it down. You see, so it changes the whole um, the whole structure. Vibe. Let's see, let's set the BPM to 90 again. I mean, we could just change it, but let's just leave it 90. Okay, let's go to program edit again. Okay, this was um, pitch or um, tune. Um, now let's uh, go to samples, to the samples page, and let's try to warp um, individual slices and maybe just try to warp all the slices. For example, if you want to warp this one, go warp. Um, just turn off BPM sync and stretch it. So it gives uh, uh, it gives this pad a very uh, interesting sound. And let's reverse it. Cool, I like that. But let's just try to make some changes to all those paths. So let's go here, it's over here, edit zones. And now let's choose multiple and let's select all those slices or all those paths. So now they are all red, as you can see. And now all the changes we do in inside of program edit will affect all, all those paths, all those red uh, selected paths, all those selected paths. So yeah. Let's close it. So if we change the warp, if we warp one of those samples, it will warp all those samples, uh, all those pads. So let's just play around.
it uh, changes the vibe again just by warping and reversing all of those paths. Now let's go to the next uh, page, let's go to envelopes. Now here we can soften the attack of all those paths or all selected paths. Let's just do that. So here is the attack and we want to soften the attack. We can do it by controlling this with the uh, Q-Link. All right. All right, I like that. So this was the attack and decay. Now let's go to the next um, page, to the LFO page. This one is also very exciting, for me, at least. <laughs> um, we can either sync the LFO to the beat, to the, to the BPM, and now we can just uh, choose a destination um, of the LFO. Let's start with the pitch. Of course we can also affect only a single pad if we go again to this one and then choose current and now it will only affect the current pad again. So let's um let's affect this pad with some more pitch and a different rate and a different pan. Okay, so as you can see, this pad is very much affected by the pitch. All right, now the next step is one of my favorites. If we go to track mix and then we can just put a, a pitch shifter on this program. I really like that. The pitch shifter is in modulation and air pitch shifter. I like that. So we can change the mode. Let's shift the whole thing 12 semitones up. So 12. Now, it sounds really disgusting, but, but now if we lower the mix, without, and with. It just adds uh, one octave above the original uh, original sample. So yeah, this is do this is a dope one, I think. And next, let's add a let's add an EQ just to clean some of the lows. Air EQ, air power EQ. Let's make a low cut. Now let's add some further modulation, maybe a, a multi-chorus. All right, next, if I'm not uh, satisfied with this melody, I can just um, bounce it to a new sample. So let's do that, bounce to sample. We will now do the same process. Let's go to sequence three. Let's um, sample edit. 
uh, clear all, so hold shift, clear all, it will clear all the slices, the chopped slices. Let's choose the different sample, this is sequence 2, so now let's chop it up. Alright, convert it into a new drum program, go to main, let's choose the drum program, it's this one, and now we can even just try out how it sounds on 120 BPM, so let's just So it's a, a whole different vibe, so sequence 2 is, uh, sounds like that. So it can be the same song, but maybe a variation also. So you can just build your own variations of the same sample. Yeah, make a, make a song and add those variations, so, so, it, will, so it won't get boring. Um, let's just uh, make a quick comparison to the original thing we played. So very, very cold and it's a nice melody but it's very, you know, the velocity is all is fixed and all that. And let's go to the second sequence. Whole different um, mood, whole different vibe and the, thir the, third, sequ the, third, the third sequence. Let's go to program edit, let's pitch it down a little bit. And here we can also choo choose all those slices again, multiple or all, or multiple. And um, th do the same actually. So now um, just play with the warp. Attack, decay, this now sounds really magical I think, <laughs> um, let's go to track mix and let's add a reverb to this program because this one needs a reverb, let's choose special reverb maybe a small room. So it really sounds different now. Gute Tage, so mange Ware, ich bin in der Quenge. Gute Tage, so mange Ware, ich bin in der Quengelfase, hänge ab in einer Hängematte, verbreite von dort meine Meinungen über den Globus, kleine, aber feine Reime, verkörper mein dickes Brot mit nem LED heiligen Schein auf meinem Kopf, drauf seh ich aus wie ein Alien mit orange leuchtender Kopf, vor ich klopf auf, heute es macht Dock, 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 mein Kopf ist stein Ei, er hat genug vor dem Schrott, ich bleibe mir selber treu, schreibe dem Spaß keine Rechnung, fein an den Gitter steht und das Glücks unterschreibt mit nem Klecks von bunten Farben, gemischt mit ner Prise Schwärm und das Leben beginnt das dann, wenn man sich mit sich nicht mehr schwer tut. Sieh mir philosophische Worte aus dem Mund deines Stimpers Der wegen skurriler Szenen im Leben schon häufig gegrinst hat Es gilt für den Rindstein und die Leute gehüllt im Stoff Aus dem Träume gemacht zum Geweh von indischen Kindern uh. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, check out this video
it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a step-by-step -step masterclass on how to mix on the MPC in standalone mode. I got a, a lot of good feedback for this video, so check it out. I'll see you over there. Peace.